Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Sunday, the ninth Sunday after Pentecost, July 21st, our scripture is from the sixth chapter of the Gospel of Mark, verses 30 to 34, and verses 53 through 56. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away into the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the finger of his cloak, the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched, touched it were healed. Jesus said, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. Verse 31. There is nothing better than a good nap or a great night's sleep. It's true. Many people aren't getting the rest they need, but what about the kind of rest that comes from ceasing our doing? The rest we find when we learn how to be. The disciples had traveled to teach and heal. They had accomplished much, but they needed to recharge. Jesus called them away so they could set down their labors and rely on God to provide. There was still unending work to be done, but it was not theirs to take on at that particular moment. When we cease our striving in rest, we trust God to take care of us at the most fundamental level. What hinders you from resting? Things to do. The weight of responsibility. What if it's instead pride, a desire to feel important or in control? Even Jesus and the disciples took time to rest so they could live their calling out from out from out of abundance, not de depletion. Take five minutes today to breathe deeply and just be with God. Our prayer. I'm like a shepherdless sheep wandering in anxious. Grant me rest in you, O Lord. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.